My iHerb order just arrived. I totally forgot what I bought. I'm pretty sure it's protein bars, but let's open it up and have a look. This is perfect timing because I just ran out of protein powder and I need something else before the gym today. Oh my gosh, yum. I forgot that I bought peanut butter. <laughs> this is the best peanut butter. I don't think it's probably the healthiest. I mean, it can't be that bad because it's off iHerb, but I know like the Pix one's really good because it's just peanuts, but I like my peanut butter to be just a little bit sweeter than just peanuts and I don't have it that often. I'll just have it with like apples or occasionally on toast. I don't know if this one's bad or not. I think it's like healthy-ish but this is so yummy. I also love the like cinnamon raisin one that they do. Such a big commitment to buy a box of like 30 bars and I've done it before just because I wanted to try a new flavor because you can get sick of having the same one over and over but then if you don't like them you've literally just spent like 50 bucks on a whole box. So I liked this brand how they had just single ones and it had a high rating too. I also got these to try. Okay, I got the normal um, Quest bars that I always get because these are really yummy and they're so like low in carbs and sugar. They're really good in terms of their macros, but they taste really good. So those are like an old favorite, just restocking on those. And I also thought I'd try these because they had really nice reviews. I have such a big sweet tooth. You guys probably know this about me. So it is really hard for me, especially just like after 10 stuff to not be craving something sugary. And um, I don't want to like deprive myself or anything like of course, especially if it's a weekend or have like, you know, ice cream or some chocolate or something. I'm not going as crazy as I used to be because I feel like that put me in like a bad mindset sometimes. But I thought I'd just get these to try out. They're obviously high in protein, which is nice to curb your appetite. And the macros on these were good too. And apparently they're just like little cake bite things. I always get my probiotics and everything off iHerb as well. If you guys want to buy off there, I do have a discount code. I'll leave it down below and you can save some money. So just finished up at the gym and Jojo and I went to get a smoothie bowl. <laughs> Are you here? It's like the new style. Um, yeah, I forgot to bring my camera. I left at the gym, so that was really stupid of me. Now I'm pretty much stuck in town, like I'm lost in the middle of town because I need to go drop off the car to give it a repair job and I'm supposed to be meeting up with Thomas. I guess I'll just like walk to his work from the repair garage because my phone's flat. Um, I mean, I'm just all over the show to be honest because the repairs are going to take like two, two and a half hours and it's kind of inconvenient because I've got a lot of emails and stuff I need to get back to but my phone's flat, so I fail at life. But at least I charged my camera, so you guys can just watch me struggling today. That was a good workout. I just did cross trainer for like 20 minutes, then I did some arms and then legs at the end, an arm like circuit and then a leg circuit. And we're out of protein at the moment. I ordered them all last night, but I had a protein bar. You guys, oh, actually, I don't think I showed you eating it, but that peanut one was so delicious. And um, just had a protein like scoop in my smoothie bowl. So making do with having no protein at home. Hopefully our order comes soon because otherwise I get so sore, like especially the next day if I don't eat enough protein. Just at the warehouse. I don't know if I'm allowed to film here. I'm being quiet, but just killing time. Might do some present shopping while I'm here. We thought you just destroyed our food. I had an apple juice for at Joe's Garage. Woo! Joe's Garage. Joe's for life. <laughs> Joe's for life. My parents co-own this cafe here in New Zealand. Check it out. I think they I think there's a few excluded <laughs> though, eh? I think Christchurch. They don't in Palmy, they don't. Yeah, but Queenstown. Queenstown and Hamilton. Wellington, Hamilton, you probably. Oh, yeah. I don't even know. I'll probably no one cares. Oh, it looks such a mess. Guacamole Mexican food places coming back here soon. Oh, yeah, Tyler goes there. Yeah, by the skate really park, good. yeah. I had it once, like, it's been a few years ago now. I can't even see that the ocean is there. <laughs> Food's more exciting. And now you're not up to date with my vlogs, Mum. We're doing say hello. Oh, no, look at my nice beach here. Oh, it looks lovely. <laughs> Swimming at the you should get some sand. salt spray that does that. We went for a swim today and it was freezing. Yeah, was freezing. I was thinking about bringing my togs, but I thought, oh, I don't think I'm brave enough day. yet. Yeah. Mum's little beach batch. Christmas tree. There's a pool table. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and also there's a pool. Play some pool. 
put Break it in like a... Table tennis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that when Jamie would stay, we'd play table... Well, you guys would play table tennis and he'd get really competitive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very good. Oh, yeah. It's over. Good. Hello, mate. Hello. Have you two met? Yeah, not too bad. Oh, sure, have you met? Dad just saw my old landlord in town and he said that there was mail for me at our old address. And this has been there for probably like for nine months. And, oh my gosh, I hope Collection haven't been sending stuff there this whole time. I need to email them. But how cool is this? We've got concealers. Like eye pencils. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I think it's like a ring light for your phone. Thanks, Dad, for my makeup. Usually it'll say available this day, but it just says available at counter. Just finished up at Mum and Dad's place now. Got some free chockies. Hell yeah. Um, I feel like it's kind of late or well, it's about to be dark. Do the questions of the day now. I put my seatbelt on so I don't die. Laura wants to know, are you growing out your bob? Yes, I definitely am. It's so knotty and like ratty right now. It probably doesn't look any longer, but it's definitely getting like an awkward length now. It's not really like boob length, but it's not bob length, especially for summer. I feel like it's just fun to have a bit longer hair so I can do like French braids and all that fun stuff. And I've had short hair for a couple of years now, so I'm, I'm feeling the long hair again. I've like forgotten all the cons to having long hair like that it takes forever to style and it's really thick and hot and stuff but I just don't like the look of it. Christina wants to know if you could dye your hair any color without damaging it what color would you choose? Probably do like pink or something. Green. Green. <laughs> that would make my eyes look green I guess. Actually no I'd love to go I'd love to get black hair or like brunette hair but the thing is I know once you do that it's so hard to get blonde again and my natural colour is so close to blonde anyway I wouldn't want to like do that to my hair and then spend years and heaps of money like getting back you to blonde. Have you worn a black wig? No. But I feel like because I have dark eyebrows and green eyes I'd look quite cool with brunette hair. But then I just know after like a month I would miss my blonde hair so I've never done it but if I could just do that and then like switch back with the click of a finger like no damage I would totally try that out. This isn't really a question but stop, stop, soft starlight said you used to upload on YouTube more often have you cut back because of all the glitches and to be honest I kind of had cut back without even really realizing a little bit before vlogmas. Whoa this road is really bumpy it's not glitches because YouTube would have fixed them um, I reckon because I watched a video about this guy who made test channels and he subscribed them all to his channel and just watched over time as they all got unsubscribed without him clicking unsubscribe obviously and the ones that got unsubscribed first were the ones that didn't interact at all with his proper channel so they didn't click thumbs up they didn't write a comment and I feel like it's just the whole issue with fake followers so many people are buying them but YouTube's really trying to clear out all the like bot accounts but I feel like they accidentally clear out a lot of like inactive accounts but it's really just people that don't interact like I know I have a lot of followers that will just watch my videos but they won't leave a comment and I'm like that too with other people's videos so yeah I don't really think it's gonna get fixed because it's not like a glitch like for some people in my management it's been happening for like a year over a year um, and yeah I definitely try to avoid uploading too often for a while because I wanted to maintain my subscriber number and obviously like grow a little bit too now I really could not care less Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just here to make videos because they're fun for me to make and you guys like watching them and I just don't really care at the end of the day if I'm going up in subscribers or whatever, like I still do well on my other social medias and I grow on there and I think Vlogmas is just such a fun thing to do so why would I not want to do it, you know? At the end of the day, life's too short so um, I'm, yeah, I'm learning every day at the moment which is quite crazy but I hope you guys are still enjoying it. So that's my three questions for the day. Definitely leave me some more down below also and I'll try to answer your question in tomorrow's video. I know this is really random but this sunscreen is so good. I used it the other day when we went to go pick strawberries and we were out for quite some time in the hot sun and it was so like non-greasy. I was wondering if it would even work but I didn't get even slightly pink and I'm so pale. You guys know this but it's SPF 50. I think it's fragrance free and all that as well if you have sensitive skin. This is just an empty deodorant. I need to put that in my empties pile actually. In video my cool phone going off. Kim it! Kim it didn't go. Oh it'll keep going. I can't put that in, can I? It's all like confidential. 
Spaß. Da, 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 da. No, it just is, it's just the name of the reality. Who else loves this show? We're watching... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Would I Lie to You? We also like the Big Fat Quiz. They're just like British game shows. We just watch them on YouTube, don't we? <laughs> oh yeah, don't we? Oh my gosh, why? Is this so big? Wow, my hair looks long on this angle, but I also look like a cube. So, who's that? Oh my gosh, my hair is actually getting so long. What? Hate me. No, no. <laughs> not filming a nipple. Why not? Okay, fine, I will. No, it's gone now. <laughs> Sliding so bad. If anybody's wondering about this shirt too, it's just from Glasses. Woo! <laughs> Titties! I'm wearing the most unsupportive bra ever. This is a strapless bra. Don't you hate that? I really need to get new ones because these ones all fall down, fall down on me now. Honestly, this is a real random question, but I need bra recommendations if you guys know of any good strapless bras that aren't like too padded because I hate it when it's like your boob and then they like sit under your boob with all this padding and it looks like you have a weird huge boob or like kind of like a double boob. But also not ones that like squidge your boobs down, just like good strapless bras, let me know. My favourite bras, like normal bras, are the Victoria's Secret bras. And they cost me so much to ship to New Zealand, but they're my favourite ones. So, I don't know if any of you guys would know if their strapless ones are good, but yeah, just let me know. What bras are good? Help a sister out. It's gonna take off my mascara and pretty much go to bed. I've been using that drunk elephant skincare that Mecca sent me. So I'll update you guys on that soon, how I'm liking it. Like I said before, leave me a comment. I'm sorry that that footage in the car was really like muffled volume because we were driving. Definitely won't film while driving again. Or not when we're going like 80k anyway. Is that, just Is that not very good? No, not really. You can still hear me, but it would be like annoying. Also, I need your help. These little annoying clips on the side of the camera, they always rattle against it. And I want to like snap them off, but they're so thick and sturdy that I can't. But I was thinking if I get like a foam sticker and put it down here, it wouldn't like hit the camera. Just get wire cutters. Do you reckon you could do it? Yeah. It's so bad. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Night.